After seeing many areas in the Midwest and Northeast receive close to a foot of snow from this snowstorm, we could see another very significant snowstorm move into the Midwest and Northeast by next week, where this snow could impact the more coastal areas of the Northeast. If we were to take a look at the latest depiction of the European model at this time, of course, we have this snowstorm that's expected to move to the Northeast of the United States. Of course, we have that very strong ridge that's pretty much um, exclusive exclusively bringing the snow just north of the Interstate 84 corridor, which extends between Boston and Scranton. So as a result, we were seeing mostly a rain event for anywhere that's just south of, let's say, the Hartford, Connecticut area. But we do see that after this low pressure system moves out, we're going to see its temperatures cool down a little bit because of this pressure gradient we're seeing between this big ridge dominating the eastern half of the United States and, of course, this low pressure system, which will bring just enough of a strong north flow to bring that arctic air a little bit further southward so temperatures should fall back down to normal for much of the eastern half of the united states and we're going to see a relatively stable jet stream where the jet stream will be straightened out so we won't see a ton of instability as we approach the weekend we were initially and um forecasting that this low pressure system could have been a more significant snowstorm for the northeast but it seems like there won't be enough cold air behind it to create an unstable environment for that snow to really be significant we could see some flurries on the Saturday night time um, throughout the Saturday night time frame in the northeast but nothing more than that however our next significant winter storm will be associated with this slow pressure system that's going to bring up to five feet of snow in many areas of the higher elevations of California where we of course see that there's plenty of cold air behind it moving very far southward and keep in mind this is the first time in 20 years Los Angeles County is under a blizzard warning at least certain parts where the snow could move as far low in elevation as 4,000 feet, which isn't something you see very often in California, where we see a temperature cold enough to support for snowfall in elevations that low, which is the reason why uh, um, some portions of Los Angeles County are under blizzard warnings because that snow will impact the areas in the lower elevations, lower than what you'd expect for low pressures of moving to the Pacific Northwest. But uh, my point is, is that there's going to be plenty of cold air behind it in the higher elevations. Make sure to watch out for feet of snowfall, not inches, but feet of snowfall and heavy rain up along the coast of California. But moving forward, we're going to see that this cold air will triggered an unstable environment in the midsection of the country to where we're going to see a large area of thunderstorm activity move through the midsection of the country and we do see that there isn't a lot of cold air by the time the soil pressure moves into the into the midwest as we do see that this is entirely a rain event we do see a little bit mixing in minnesota based on the european model forecast but not enough cold air to necessarily make this a snowstorm however that's quickly about to change because what both of the computer models expect is that this ridge that's going to be located just to the east of this low pressure system will significantly weaken and what that will do is that that will reduce the southerly winds on the eastern side of the slow pressure system and that's key because the southerly winds are a major component in bringing the warmer temperatures from the gulf of mexico further northward now that this ridge is expected to weaken that will cut off the warm air from moving further northward as quickly so as though we're more likely to see cold air build by the time the soil pressures and moves eastward and that would create a more likely chance that a lot of the coastal areas in the northeast especially new england could experience a significant snowstorm out of this we eventually do see the soil pressures and move further northward and i want you to take a look at the millibar pressure down to 979 millibars which is quite strong and definitely is strong enough to bring heavy snowfall if there were to be a snowfall potential which is likely associated with this so precision as it continues to move further eastward we do see heavy snowfall throughout the northern portions of wisconsin even minneapolis gets involved a lot of the same areas that just got impacted from this current snowstorm could experience and well will likely experience another snowstorm next week so you want to prepare for this snowstorm as well as i think it's becoming increasingly likely that this will occur and impact a lot of the same areas in northern northeast we're still around four days out with the forecast so a lot could change from now up until the monday time frame but with both the computer models showing a very similar forecast it makes me believe that the certainty is relatively high for uh 
forecast that's around four days out and moving forward we do see the snow will eventually move into the northeast and what's interesting is that northern new jersey gets involved the metro parts and areas of new york city get involved with this snowstorm and it's going to be one of those very tight forecasts for new york cities because any small difference in the trajectory of the soil pressure system will make a big difference between whether or not new york city experiences three to six inches of snowfall or no snowfall at all at this point it seems like the european model is leaning towards little to no snowfall accumulation for new york city but again very close forecast to put it in perspective i'll only live around 20 miles to the northwest of new york city and my, the forecast in my area it is three to six inches of snow so new york city isn't very far off from experiencing snowfall accumulation from this storm depending on where exactly the storm is located i'll keep you guys updated because it's going to be a close forecast from new york city and even northern new jersey because you're going to be so close to rain snow line however I'd say anywhere that's significantly further northward of New York City, even in the areas as far south as Connecticut, this should entirely be a snow event for you guys. And this is big because a large portion of New England is highly populated in the southern, especially in the southern portions of New England, where it includes the big cities such as Boston, Providence, Connecticut, all get involved with very heavy snowfall in this scenario with the rain snow line being relegated well further southward in New York City. Again, very close for forecast and moving forward with the forecast we see that um the snow will continue for much of new england where areas could maybe receive over a foot of snow from this snowstorm if the european model's forecast is correct and the gfs model is showing a very similar depiction of what the european model is stating which makes me believe that a forecast very similar to this is more likely as we approach next week but there's still time to really iron out the forecast and again it's if you're close to the rain snow line it's certainly going to be a more uncertain forecast than if you're just north of the rain snow line so we're going to need to pay very close attention to the small details as we continue to move forward really all depends on how strong this ridge will be just say east of it because if it's a little stronger we should expect a track a little bit for a north we're bringing the snowfall for a northward but if this ridge ends up weakening more than anticipated then we should see a track further southward and that will definitely enhance um, significantly enhance the possibility that the areas are southward including new york city get involved with some snowfall but i'll say the certainty is a little bit higher than what you'd expect for four day snowstorm so a track forecast very similar to this is likely at this point i'll say but there's still that possibility so for a variation so make sure to be aware of that possibility now let me show you guys a gfs models forecast in terms of what the gfs model is forecasting at this time we do see that it's going to be a very similar forecast to what the european model is stating continuing to move forward we see that same clipper system move through the eastern half of the united states but again it's very similar to what the european model is stating pretty much bringing no more than a couple of flurries to the northeast so not much to worry about there and again we're seeing a very similar trajectory with the gfs model when it comes to this low pressure system which will eventually become our big snowstorm for the northeast and northern midwest it's forecasting a very similar trajectory where there's going to be plenty of cold air behind it in the higher elevations of california you need to expect anywhere between three to six feet not inches but feet of snow in the higher elevations including the areas that are further lower in elevation so you need to pay close attention to that but moving forward we do see that uh, this storm forms in a very similar fashion we do see that this is almost completely identical to what the european model is saying which makes me believe that a forecast very similar to this is more likely at, as we approach next week and moving forward we do see the pressure drops to a very similar pressure to what the, the European model is forecasting where we see a pressure of 977 millibars which is similar to what the European model is stating which is forecasting the pressure to be right around 979 or 78 millibars so very similar in that and even the exact look of the storm is very similar we see that very mid-latitude cyclone look to this storm so we should expect a very similar trajectory to this and we do see the snow eventually move into the northern midwest and impact a lot of same areas as the european model as well where a lot of new england including southern new england experiences very heavy snowfall as this would certainly be a significant snowstorm for much of you guys in the northeast the only 
a major difference that I could point out with the forecast is that the GFS model as of the latest run is taking the rain storm line just slightly northward than the European model. So in this scenario, New York City would experience more of a rain event rather than a snow or mixing event while the, the European model is forecasting the New, York, the New York City to experience more snowfall and mixing a little bit, not much accumulation, but at least a little bit more mixing so it's going to be very interesting to see which of these two computer models ends up being the more correct one and i'll keep you guys updated over the next several days and we're going to need to pay close attention to how this ridge will build just to the east of it let me show you guys a 500 millibar height anomaly to really show you what will be key in determining the exact track the strength and where exactly the heaviest snow will fall associated with this snowstorm so this is what the European model is forecasting when it comes to the 500 millibar height anomaly. We do see that there's a very strong ridge that's built over the United States at this time. And that was the reason why most of the snow was relegated well for northward of the coastal northeast. But continuing to move forward, what's going to be key is that the first, we're of course going to see this Clipper system move through by the Saturday time frame. But this Clipper system won't be really strong enough to weaken this ridge. So this ridge will still remain strong but we could see some colder air just to north of it but what's going to be interesting is that once this slow pressure system moves through california and eventually moves for northeastward this ridge significantly weakens so while the ridge will still be strong enough to at least steer it just marginally further northward we see that this ridge weakens so much to the point where the storm doesn't move that far northward in comparison to this current snowstorm we just saw move through the united states this ridge weakens significantly so suddenly winds are weaker which means that this solar pressure system is less likely to move further northward or get pushed further northward by the suddenly winds so we see this storm weaken and that would mean the um, suddenly winds are weaker which means that there's going to be less warm air moving northward and that allows a cool air associated with this old pressure system especially on the back side to build into the northeast because suddenly winds are a lot weaker which we exactly do see right here where the european mall is expecting a, a low pressure trajectory to move far, just far south enough to bring snow to most of new england in excess of six to twelve inches of snow throughout most of new england and we even do see that this ridge weakens quite a bit to a point where we're going to see even more cold air on the back side to support this storm and bring even enhance the chance of snowfall even more snow so depending on how quickly this ridge will weaken will determine the exact track of this storm as any small differences in how fast this ridge will weaken will make a big difference in terms of the trajectory forecast so we need to pay very close attention to that as we approach next week now let me show you guys the gfs models forecast the GFS model again is showing a very similar forecast, expects a big ridge to weaken as we approach next week, which will allow the solar pressure system to move further southward and less of a southerly flow to bring that warm air further northward. However, again, the key difference is that the GFS model is forecasting the ridge to weaken a little bit later. So this storm does move a little bit further northward. So that does force the rain snow line to be a little bit further northward because there's just a slightly stronger southerly wind associated with this storm at um, as a result of a stronger ridge so we see the snow a little bit further northward but for the most part this ridge completely weakens and still brings heavy snowfall throughout new england either way it's just a little bit more uncertain when we take a look in the areas surrounding new york city where the rain snow line it's going to make a, a more uncertain forecast for those up along the rain snow line so we're going to need to pay close attention to this ridge as this storm continues to head further eastward so here's what the gfs model is forecasting when it comes to snowfall accumulation we see a large area of over a foot of snow I'll, i'd say it's going to be lower than this because this is assuming one inch of rain equates to 10 inches of snow but that um but that ratio isn't always correct especially since the temperature will be relatively close to freezing so we're going to see a little bit more moisture within each snowflake so it should be a little less than this but mostly expect 6 to 12 inches and localized areas over a foot of snow throughout new england and in new york city very close forecast you're right in between three to six inches and those so far at all in the gfs small scenario and we see the snow extend further westward into michigan wisconsin and minnesota as well where we see a large area of 6 to 12 inches as well 
the European model is showing a nearly identical forecast where we see a lot of the same areas experience a little bit more snowfall. The key difference, like I said, is that New York City experiences a little bit more snowfall in this scenario and the rain snow line is a little bit first southward. But the forecast for the most part, the general forecast is very certain. So it makes me believe that this snowstorm will likely impact a large area of New England where you could expect 6 to 12 inches snow. So I recommend to prepare. It's better to be safe than sorry. There's still days ago, but with both of the computer models persisting on a very similar trajectory strength and snowfall accumulation forecast, it does definitely raise certainty that you will experience a major snowstorm by early next week and this is my current snowfall forecast pretty much basing this off of the two latest computer models we do see i'm taking a large area of 6 to 12 inches throughout new most of new england pretty much the entirety of new england with the exception of maine as it's likely that you guys will experience a major snowstorm by next week going to be a close forecast for northern new jersey new york city like i said and make sure to pay close attention to, uh, to receiving um potentially over six inches of snow in the northern midwest as well but uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather-related content.